America, you have been our teachers for 435 years, and you are now grieved because of your product. You continue to make the lives of my people bitter with hard bondage in America. And in all manner of service and in all fields of work, my people suffer prejudice on their jobs. They suffer discrimination on their jobs, and they discover they suffer hatred on their jobs. How many of you have been going through that kind of thing, and you've seen our people going through it? America, you have used your science to destroy and murder all of our unborn children through abortion and evil birth control methods. But again, you always outsmarted you by having babies have babies to keep our people alive in America. Remember, America, that our mothers fear God. Our people are fruitful and have increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. And America is filled with my people 60 million strong. America, you have planned in secret to overrun our community with drugs and now hold over one million of our sons in your prisons who fell for your trap, all between the ages of 17 and 25. After you failed to provide jobs for millions more of our sons besides the one you have in jail, the only economy you provide is for them to sell your drugs in order to live. And then you bust our sons who fall for your traps while your rich distributors with their planes and boats go free. America, let my people go. America, in addition to the poverty of my people, you have over 15 million homeless, unemployed people living in poverty in this great land of opportunity. And taxes are killing the great businessmen of this country. America, Yahweh has raised me up to move the world from poverty to riches and to peace eternally. And to my people in America, Yahweh the great I am, the God of your fathers has sent me to you first to raise you from the bottom to the top, from poverty to riches. I am has sent me unto you. The Lord Yahweh, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me unto you. And Yahweh is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Yahweh, the God of your fathers, is here in your midst and sees everything that is being done to you here in America. And I will bring you up out of America, out of poverty to great riches. America, Yahweh, the God of the so-called black man of America has met with us and now let us go. Uh, we urgently appeal to you. Let my people come to me without hindrance. And if the government of America will not let you come to me, then Yahweh will stretch out his hand mightily and smite America with all the wonders which you are beginning to see in her midst now. For you who want to know about the war impending in the Middle East, it is also known as the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the War of Armageddon. America, I am pleading the cause of the poor and the needy. America, you still have time to learn to do well, just as the people of Nineveh had the opportunity to change from their wicked ways to righteousness and were saved. Nations, and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, called the Middle East today, and we'll plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, the so-called black people, who are the tribes of Israel whom they have scattered among the nations. America, if you fail to heed my words and let my people go, you will suffer a great plague besides the plagues you're already suffering day by day. And this shall be the plague that Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against the so-called black man of America throughout your history of living on this earth for these last 6,000 years. Every nation that has ever fought against you wherever you were on the planet earth. Those who've done it, their flesh shall consume away while they stand up on their feet. And their eyes shall consume out of their sockets while they're still standing on their feet. And their tongues shall consume away out of their mouth while they're still standing on their feet before their skeleton can fall to the ground. President Bush, you or any of your successors, if you attempt to establish a false peace, 
and you will attempt to do it, then know perfectly that the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them as pains upon a woman with child, and not one of them will escape the wrath of Yahweh. In conclusion, America is for sale. I've just spoken prophecy. I've just spoken the word of Yahweh.